Well, yep, the election, it's tomorrow. And if job creation is a key component to which party will do best tomorrow, well, a lot of people are paying attention to the numbers that just came out on Friday from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Let's talk with Brent Schutte. He's the market strategist for BMO Global Asset Management. Once again, a split decision. We have the unemployment rate ticking up a tenth, but job creation also sure. up. Sure, this number was actually a little bit better than the ones that we've commented on in the past. Uh, 184,000 private payrolls were, were uh, added on in uh, the month of uh, October. October. Uh, the household number, which is used to calculate the unemployment rate, um, was also up, but more people were coming back into the labor force, and so you actually had the unemployment rate tick up by a tenth of a percent. It's funny how statistically a lot of people would say, you know, it's not that significant, this change, but politically, everybody jumps on it and tries to peel back the onion and figure out who does this benefit. Sure, I, I guess I think it's a little late in, in the equation for it to make a huge difference in, in what happens on Tuesday. Uh, if you look right now, the polls are, are very divided, uh, and largely they're divided because um, who you think is going to actually come out and vote. So are more Democrats going to vote or are more Republicans going to vote? Let me ask you about the numbers, though, Brent. You're talking about uh, job creation, and in your view, you feel that this is not a cyclical problem, that it is structural, therefore it will take some time to gain traction. Sure. Um, I do think it's a structural issue, and I, I, that's why I think monetary policy is, is not all that helpful um, with solving the problem. Uh, if you actually look at the NFIB, which is a small business um, research firm, uh, they actually had numbers come out um, that 41 percent of owners are actually having trouble finding people to qualify for their jobs. Even as the pool of the unemployed is that much greater sure. now. Sure. The 41 percent is the same number that it was in February of 2007, so before the Great Recession. Um, unemployment rate then was 4.5 percent. Today it's 7.9 percent. There are five million more people unemployed today, and yet they're having the problems filling these jobs. Interesting. And here we're likely to have a twist two. Would it be two or three or what? Whatever from the Fed. Right. So Operation Twist uh, winds up in, in uh, December, and that's the program where they sell their shorter term securities and buy longer dated securities. Uh, that wraps up in, uh, in December. And they've clearly stated that they're um, leaning towards actually doing more. And so the pro what they may actually end up doing is actually just outright buying treasuries. Uh, and so they'd be buying uh, 45 billion more longer dated treasuries uh, per month on top of the 40 billion in mortgage backs that they're buying today. We'll see what the impact of that is, not to mention tomorrow's election. Brent Schutte, thanks so much. Thank you.